foggy day in Portland and we're here today on Bridgeview to talk about rebar. Rebar, what is it? Why is it important? And what role does it play in the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge? So the in-water work window has just finished up and the crews are preparing to drill the shafts and create the foundations for the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge. And an important part of preparing for those foundations is rebar, these cages behind me. And today we're gonna to be talking to Dave Barrett of Rebar International to learn more about rebar. So Dave, help us understand what rebar is and what role it plays in structures. Well, rebar, you know, the, that's the short name for it. It's, it's reinforcing steel and it's the backbone of concrete. And you, you place the reinforcing steel inside the concrete and it allows for some give to the concrete without the concrete coming apart and being brittle. You know, concrete without rebar, it would break like an old dry cookie, you know, you just break it apart. Right. So with the reinforcing steel inside the concrete, it allows the concrete to give and um, stay structurally sound. So how is the rebar made and where is it made? Um, this reinforcing steel is made in Seattle at Newcore Steel and then is shipped to Harris Rebar in Tacoma. And there it is fabricated, meaning it's uh, cut, bent, and threaded. They have threaded ends on these, on these cages for mechanical couplers. Great. So these cages are huge. Tell me a little bit about them in terms of their um, size and yeah. makeup. This is the cage for T3 and T4, which will be out on the water. So Dave, when you say T3 and T4, T3 is Tower 3 yeah. on the west side of the river, and then T4 is the tower on the east side of the river. Correct. Okay, great. Thanks. Correct. There's six shafts per footing uh, per tower. You know, you have two towers coming out of a foundation. These are uh, nine foot 10 diameter concrete structures. The rebar cage has six inches clearance all around for concrete to consolidate around the outside. So the cage itself is eight foot 10 inches. They're 165 feet long for tower three and about 174 feet long for tower four. They're, um, they weigh about 60 tons, 60 tons of steel. That's heavy. It's comprised of number 18 bar, which is uh, 18 eighths or two and a half inches of uh, in diameter and the bars weigh about 13 pounds per foot. So how do you get this cage all the way over to the tower and inside the shaft? Yeah, it's, it's a challenge. Um, this rebar will be lifted by a crane, swung over and placed on a truck, an extended bed truck, and then driven out on the work trestle where the, the derrick barges out on the water, the LA will loft it you know, we'll put multiple cranes on it with multiple hooks to pick it up flat and then erect it in a vertical position. Interesting. Well, these, these cages are going to play a really important role in the foundation of this bridge. That's what holds it to the ground. That's, That's what keeps it grounded. So thanks for your time, Dave. That is really interesting. And I guess this is only the beginning, right? You're That's here right. till June of 2014 right. and continuing to put rebar all the way up this structure. All the way up. That's great. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. That's all we have time for today on Bridgeview, but join us next time.